Good day everyone and uh, welcome to Poet 2021. Uh, my name is Steven Sani Basaba. I'm the director for Tourism and Business Development at Uganda Wildlife well, Authority, uh, the body that is responsible for managing and protecting the wildlife resources in this country so that uh, you visitors who are coming to Uganda or wanting to come can enjoy a true nature in this beautiful country of South Africa. I'm here to share with you some information and welcome you in a special way to our protective areas. I hope you will stay here in Uganda and this exhibition online will truly be worthy. And if you are not here yet, you haven't been here yet, I hope you will make a decision to physically come when the situation improves. This situation provides a unique opportunity for us to interact online and we are very, very pleased that despite all the issues and challenges we've gone through, we're happy to meet here once again online and welcome you to our country. Please feel at home and welcome to Uganda, welcome to Powate 2021. As you may know, Uganda Wildlife Authority is the body that uh, manages and protects the wildlife resources in this country and uh, much of the visitors that come, apart from some that want to go and see other areas, culture, a faith, uh, and the city and so on. Many of the visitors that come here want to go and see nature. So we're very happy to share with you the various aspects of the nature uh, that we provide. And uh, some of you that have been able to visit Uganda physically and gone around have seen how truly Uganda is truly endowed. It's a very beautiful country with a varied tourism product. You have a mountain product, you have water bodies and marine products, you have birding, you have nature, you have landscapes. Truly talk about everything, including the city, the life that we always are proud to, 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 to offer to visitors that come. For this theme, uh, recover, reboot and reconnect. We want to take an opportunity to share with you the experience that we have gone through as Ugandans and as the custodians of the tourism product that uh, we have, uh, I think, overall uh, been successful in going through what you would have called a difficult time. Uh, many of you may recall when tourism activity stopped in this country and most of our parks were actually closed. We had no visitors at all. Over time, uh, we have uh, prepared and improved our circumstances to enable visitors to travel safely and be able to reach and view the tourist product uh, that they have left for almost a year right now. Uh, as a country, uh, immediately uh, tourism was closed. Uh, we started off by preparing to put back infrastructure and prepare products in hope of recovery. So you find a lot of uh, activities were done behind the scenes to ensure that um, the tourism facilities and services that take you to see the products were actually uh, put in place. We also made sure that in line with the country's policy of uh, preparing the nation against COVID, we immediately adapted and followed standard operating procedures. This were really, really necessary because we work into a sensitive uh, environment, sensitive because we receive foreign visitors, but also we have staff and we also have wildlife that could easily uh, get affected by any lapses in the safety system. So we started by managing and controlling access to the tourism activities. And we managed and have proposed a minimum number of people that can access our product uh, on a daily basis. Uh, for many of you that know the gorilla product, the mountain gorilla tourism, uh, we still maintain the number of eight. But when you're going to tour the mountain product, we want you to maintain a minimum distance. And uh, this distance has now increased from 7 to 10 meters. I will also ensure when people are climbing or going up the mountains, uh, we ensure distance between them. You know, you may say it might be difficult to keep a distance between the people who are climbing the hill. But this one, you, you reasonably do 
because then you cannot uh, walk close to each other. So that distance is actually easy to determine and we emphasize that. Of course, the basic things which you know, things like using the mask, you see we uh, have a mask here. We do use masks up to now, right from the field, you can see into the offices. We do have masks that we have, uh, different types that we have, uh, kind of uh, approved for the various products. And we're very happy to, to um, we want to thank the visitors that have come to our national parks and many of them have adhered to ensure them that they wear masks and they follow the standard of voting procedures. Um, for some of you that have actually had the physical check of our parks, we even manage the, uh, the city capacities of cars. When people come to our parks, we want to ensure that they have traveled safely and when they reach at the gates, they wash their hands, they wear their mask, and they can go within the minimum numbers that we have uh, actually uh, provided. Uh, we are grateful uh, to the team that uh, bring these visitors, uh, many of the two operators, and even many of you that have gone to come have been very cooperative. That's why, if you look at the record of Uganda, we have been rated as one of those uh, countries, the first and the first and most important countries that have managed to control this pandemic. And this is because the people have been responsive to the, the, the standards and practices in place, and we are happy for that. Um, this uh, pandemic, obviously, as I've said, caused a lot of impact on our business, first as a conservation body. It meant that some of the resources we had that uh, come from tourism for protecting the parks were not not as much, but we have managed by and large to ensure that most of the key activities uh, for maintaining a good conservation system have been provided. That's why when you look around the country and when you look at the animal health and you look at the, the systems that we have, these have been really uh, been well protected and continue to boast of a nature and environment that you cannot find anywhere else. Thanks to you, uh, the, our visitors, thanks to you, the potential visitors are planning to come to the country uh, to see the destination and the true, uh, the true natural environment in the part of Africa. Uh, we have uh, worked with two operators uh, because the effect of uh, this uh, situation has not only affected the Uganda Wildlife Authority, but also it has affected our two operators and partners across the globe. Uh, we did uh, plan and reschedule uh, their travels for almost a period of two years. This was to enable them to plan and still bring visitors without necessarily cancelling their visits to Uganda. I'm sure some of them, even during COVID, actually asked us whether they could come, but we had to explain that you know, because of travel restrictions and the need for some of those mandatory COVID tests, they wouldn't come. But when the country is opened and my tests have now become uh, a requirement for many of the visitors, uh, we have seen people come. So two operators who have been affected, we helped to ensure that uh, they, 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 they reschedule their permits. And we have also been able during this period to offer some promotional uh, discounts uh, so that the, the, the product is accessible. You know, the travelers themselves do not have enough resources, even the tour agents too, so we have uh, made a promotional uh, discounts, and these are still running. So if you're still here in Uganda, or you're out of the country and wish to come to this country, please come and visit uh, the, the national parks. Uh, we have promotional rates over up to 50% for visiting the Savannah National Park, so you can come and pay 50% of what you used to pay until up to end of June, you still have time to plan and to come to this, this country. Uh, we have also offered investors in the national parks who offer accommodation, uh, some rebates for the period that COVID has been around and they did not make enough money, we offered them some relief so they don't have to pay us the annual round fees. Now this, I think, has gone on well with those people doing business with us because they see we empathize with them, and uh, right now we see hope and we see recovery. And I can tell you that.
that visitors have started coming. We see bookings, increase the bookings for gorilla uh, tourism. We see increase the bookings for chimpanzees. And many of the other savannah parks, our boats are starting to pick up. Many of the boats that take you on boat cruises are also seeing a resilience of, uh, and recovery. And we're very happy uh, to continue offering the product that people are aware and about. Um, going forward, I think that um, we should not relent as a country because we have seen even in other countries the, 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 the COVID pandemic is still an issue and they're still affecting travel. I want to request all partners and travelers alike to continue protecting themselves, continue to adhere to the standard operating procedures for ensuring that uh, we do not continue to get affected and spread uh, COVID-19. We are working with uh, agents, bloggers, and writers as a means of spreading the good news about Uganda tourism product. Uh, we have offered a number of opportunities for people to come and uh, record videos and write about Uganda. And some of these stories are already being shown in international media. We're going to work with musicians. If you have a talent out there, you can write, you can uh, blog, Hey, you're welcome to talk to us at Uganda Wildlife Authority and we'll be in touch with you and be happy to facilitate you to come and write about us. We continue to invest heavily in the conservation of Uganda stores and products. Uh, for example, our mountain products, which uh, did not see many people during COVID, are now starting to see some uh, people coming to the mountain area. Uh, this means the investors and ourselves are putting more money into accommodation, uh, safety of the climb, climb to the mountains, and we have seen some people that have come out with very positive uh, feedback. We are training our people, and many of them are now ready to receive a big boost in the tourism numbers that we expect, not in the very uh, distant uh, future. Our wildlife population in Uganda is growing. Uh, we do a uh, regular census of the wildlife and the numbers of the key uh, wildlife species is growing and we want to invite people to come and see this. We have done a number of translocation programs that take wildlife to some of the areas in this country where we think there is need to add more species. We have done translocation during this period and we want people to come and witness this. Out of the twelve reserves we have, many of them have, uh, we have wildlife. And Pianupe, for example, has received a very strong uh, translocation of uh, giraffes. He is ready to receive you. It is one of the reserves in, in, that you need to come and see. We also have other reserves uh, that you can come and see, including Katonga, Letorus and Lick, and uh, East Madi, all these have wildlife and we want to invite you to come and see. Um, apart from translocation and rule of wildlife, we also know that uh, during this time that people are not visiting the national parks, the, the, you know, the people in the parks also offer additional security to wildlife. So uh, during the time that we did not have very many visitors, we could have seen uh, some increase in uh, some of the Poaching activities in the parks. But we recognized this immediately and we made a full effort and utilized all the staff in the parks to start looking at uh, poaching and other community wildlife problems uh, so that we can ensure the integrity and the protection of wildlife. We have started a special program for creating awareness and promotion of these national parks to the world. Uh, hitherto, filming in the national parks was a bit of a challenge. We recognize this, and we now have made filming uh, very, very affordable. Where you can come and use your drones to film. What you need to do is get permission to do so. Uh, filming will cost you a very small amount of money. If you're going to a national park that costs you $20, you just have to pay $8, which is 40% of the park entrance, 
to feed him the whole pack for the whole day. So for 40% of the product cost, you can feed him and take those images and use them. You can use them as a marketing product on your websites, or you can use them in your homes if you like nature. So filming is some one of the things that you can come and do without uh, any any interest. We work with a number of agencies, uh, security agencies. We work with the airlines, the Civil Aviation Authority. We work with the Uganda Coast Defense Forces and the Media Center to ensure that your filming rights are given within the shortest time. The Uganda Wildlife Authority works with uh, our sister agency, Uganda Tourism Board, uh, very, very closely uh, to get people to come and tour uh, this country. Uh, so if there is anyone that uh, is out there and he wants to come, he uh, should be free to contact uh, Uganda Tourism Board. He can also contact Uganda Life Authority directly. But you could also be working with individual two operators who can reach us if you want to come and participate in the promotion and marketing of uh, this country. Uh, we have been regular partners and attendees of Poverty in uh, the previous years. We have been having regular uh, booths. And as I mentioned previously, uh, this year we are going to be there. I'll be there personally. I want to invite you, uh, if there are any issues that you want to ask, there is information that I may not give you now on this platform, but please find me at the or both, and then we can share and learn from each other. Uh, what we want to do this year is, uh, because of COVID uh, situation, we may not be able to take many of you to the farm trips that we've been having. In the past, we have been arranging farm trips to the park so that people can come to Powate when they have seen the country. If you are lucky, you are among those that have visited Uganda, well and good. But uh, most, of, most of the information that about the national parks, you can find it on the Uganda Wildlife Authority website. Uh, we also have a Facebook page. We also have a Twitter, a Twitter account. And we also have a YouTube account. And this information about Uganda Wildlife Authority can all be accessed. Uh, if you are around and you are at the uh, exhibition uh, area hall, please visit also our staff uh, who are in the exhibition uh, booth and they will give you this information as well. Uh, we are very happy about the, the, the app uh, for Poate that has, Poate has used this year on their, uh, to access the portal for Poate. Uh, it has been very easy and I'm sure many of you are finding it very easy uh, to reach us and uh, we do have seen in the past very encouraging and inquisitive uh, uh, questions about uh, state of wildlife uh, products and services and some information that we will continually answer uh, during this period. Please continue to ask us those questions and our team will be able to answer you back. Um, yes, is there any impact that uh, COVID has generated? I would say yes, there has been an impact that uh, COVID has generated. But I think overall, uh, this situation has also taught us new ways of doing business. It has also taught us new ways of thinking. It has also taught us new ways of conservation. And uh, all our efforts are now being put to address situations that should an event like this happen again, we are ready. So let's pick the positive uh, uh, and, and positive opportunities from COVID and let's move forward. Uh, from our point as the Wildlife Authority, we see optimism at the end. We have seen an increase in the numbers of domestic, and, and when I say domestic, I mean our East African uh, community visitors coming to Uganda. We have seen an increase in Uganda visiting the protected areas. We have seen families coming as families. We have seen VIPs, important persons, personalities, musicians, influencers coming to, to, to these parts. And, 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 and this is a trend that we are witnessing. And I think it's good for tourism. Uh, people who largely 
they had uh, only one opportunity to fly out, can now look around and find that there is something to see in this country, and we, we are trying to offer that uh, with the good customer care, and we do hope that whoever comes to the national parks will get good uh, service. Um, I think at this stage I want to thank all of you that have come to the show or uh, want you to please go on our website, register and then uh, come. And we also want you to come to the Uganda Wildlife Authority booth uh, where we can register. If you have any questions, please book meetings with us and we'll be there to, to assist you. Uh, I want to wish you all a very happy and fruitful engagement during quarantine. 2021. I thank you and welcome to the Park of Africa.